How was that, big boy? <laughs> Come here and let's get a picture of your face. <laughs> I'm gonna leave the cameras rolling because I gotta. I want you to look into them and tell them what you think. <laughs> That's about as much fun as you can have with your pants on, and live to tell about it. It's a. Uh... I just see it if you had wood. Oh yeah. <laughs> Got wood. It's easy enough trying to be dynamic and dexterous with one of these on a conventional range, even when you're shooting against the clock. But when you've got that sort of shit happening, and trying to maintain a degree of situational awareness, focus on task, keeping your weapon operating and being able to bring rounds to bear on a threat, this certainly ups the ante. And as you can see, I've been working hard. Show me you're using live bullets there too, Junior. You got any live bullets left? Oh yeah. Always better to finish. With a loaded mag. Yeah. <laughs> and live ammo. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, that's uh, very dynamic. Didn't feel as though that I was being, uh, I had no perception of being hit by any foreign objects, except concussion. And what the, was that going off next to me? <laughs> Certainly got my attention and well and truly elevated uh, the stress levels and normally I'm pretty good with a Glock but you can see there that I ran my gun, my gun dry uh, under pressure a lot of things go out the window and as a training aid being able to recreate that environment on call and consistently I consider to be an invaluable training tool. Whew. Fair enough let's go get some mountain spring water you up for that? Oh yeah bring it on. <laughs> Thank you very much Ron.